Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I finally have another scary Reddit story. And uh, before we start with the video, I just want to say subscribe, share, like, um, comment. And I just want to say if you guys hear a noise right now, it's like raining like super bad. So I thought it was like the perfect timing to make this video. So um, I have my laptop, so we're going to be reading the story. And the story is called... I live in a small town and we just had an emergency broadcast. So, if I were you guys, I'll get a snack, a drink, I'll just lay back, relax, and just listen to this scary Reddit story. This all started a few hours ago. It was supposed to be my day off and I had already planned to lay around in my house and eat junk food all day long. I haul a bunch of snacks and drinks to the living room, not feeling even a little bit of regret over the few pounds I was about to put on. I turn on the TV and jump on the couch, scrolling through Facebook while a movie played in the background on the screen. It must have been about 5 p.m. when I got bored and decided to stretch my legs a little. When I returned from my excuse for a healthy smoke break, I saw that the movie on the TV was gone and was instead replaced with one of those emergency broadcast screens with colorful rectangles. A male voice resounded from the TV. Repeat, do not leave your homes under any circumstances. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Five seconds pause. Attention citizens, this is an emergency broadcast. For your own safety, please lock your doors and windows immediately and do not leave your home under any circumstances. Repeat. Do not leave your home under any circumstances. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. The message kept replaying. I flicked through some channels only to be met with the static. At first I left the absurdity of this situation. This can be real, can it? And then it hit me. Maybe you were under attack. North Korea or maybe another terrorist attack. In any case, I turned off the TV and decided to lock my doors and shut all windows, covering them with blinds along the way. Before I did though, I peered out the window only to be greeted with empty streets and nothing suspicious. I sat back on my couch and messaged my friend on Facebook, asking him if he saw the same broadcast. He didn't respond though, and Messenger said he was online 10 minutes ago. As I scrolled through the rest of the feed, I saw nothing out of the ordinary on my friend's feed. I googled the news looking at my town, but there was nothing. I started to relax a little, beginning to think there was indeed either a prank or a technical error, but then I heard something outside. It sounded like someone crackling, but it only lasted for about a second before it stopped. I held my breath and listened hearing another crackle in the process, equally short and disturbing. And then a feminine scream that was suddenly cut off. It was as if whoever was screaming was suddenly muted with a pause button. I approached the door carefully, looking through the peephole, but I saw nothing out of the ordinary. And then another very short and barely audible scream. I decided to go to the window, thinking I might see more. I slowly pulled the blinds aside just enough to see a portion of the street and my heart almost exploded. Standing right in front of me, with her face to the glass, was a woman, staring right at me. Her eyes were bloodshot and opened so widely they looked like they were about to pop out. She was snarling, showing teeth that were stained with dark red liquid and causing the window to fog up every second or so. Her hair was messy and dirty, and her nails caked with dirt. I screamed and backed away, knocking down my table lamp in the process. I stood there for a while, staring at the blinds, knowing the woman was just behind them, since I could occasionally hear a faint tap and scratch on the glass from her nails. And then she spoke. Open the door, please, please, they'll find me. I stood there, dumbfounded. Please, I know you're in there, just open the door, please. I reached for my phone and dialed 911 with trembling hands, but was met with a deadline. I tried a few times, but there was no service. Please, let me in. Let us in! A male voice joined the woman at the window, and then another one at the door, and another one, and another one, until my entire house was surrounded by pleading voices, some desperate sounding and others impatient and aggressive. I retreated to the stairs, waiting for them to go away. After what seemed like an eternity, they, they started shutting up one by one until I was left with the deafening silence I was grateful for. Did they get bored and decided to leave me alone? 
I decided to peer out my people to see if I was safe. When I did, I barely stopped myself from gasping loudly. Through the pip hole, I could see a middle-aged man face with bloodshot eyes just standing there, not moving, staring at my door. Around him were more people just staring blankly at the walls and windows. I backed away and would approach the door every five minutes since then. They've been standing in front of my house for five hours now. I know that was really short, but that's just part one of the story and it has multiple um, parts. So I want to make, of course, multiple uh, videos. So um, if you guys enjoyed this story, please let me know in the comments if you want me to continue. Um, I know you guys asked me to continue the other one, but it hasn't been updated since then. So that's why I chose this one. But this one is um, already finished. So if you guys want more, then I'll give you more videos and more parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share this video. Um, also, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.